Hello and welcome to this second tutorial on copying and pasting in Minecraft Education Edition. Now the first tutorial that I recorded, we used three structure blocks in what's called corner mode. Now if you haven't watched that video and you're still working out how to do copying and pasting, that's the video for you to start with. In this video, we're going to have a look at how to use one structure block but we're going to be manipulating the X, Y, and Z proportions. So if you're not quite comfortable yet with something called the Cartesian plane, you'll learn all about that in maths. Uh, and then the first video is for you. But if you think you're pretty good at Minecraft Education Edition, then jump in and let's have a look at how to copy and paste. All right, I'm in Education Edition and you can see the fountain that I've built there. And maybe if I want to copy that fountain, because I put so much time into it, I put all these details into this fountain. And so I want to be able to copy it without having to rebuild it all over again. So copying and pasting can save you time. And it means you can put more of your creative energy into something knowing that you can reproduce it really quickly. So there's my fountain. You can see the thin line around it or the boundary box. That's the area that I've set it up to be ready to copy. And it's really important that we always have a look at where that boundary box is. So let's go down uh, to where the structure block is. Now we talked about the structure block in the last video. Uh, here we go, we're down. So there's that structure block. Um, you can see that it's on the plus mode at the moment. You can also see I'm holding one in my uh, Minecraft hand. Um, if you don't know where to get them from, like I said, go and have a look at the other video. So I'm going to right click. What we want to have a look at is how to control the X, Y, and Z dimensions. The size of how big you want to copy. When you put, place your structure block and you right click on it, we are going to switch over into save mode. In the previous video, we looked at corner mode, but this time we're going to go straight to save mode. Once you do that, you have to give it a name. So that box will pop up um, and that name is reusable even after you close Minecraft and then reopen it. That name will still work. But what I don't know, and maybe someone can tell me in the comments below this video, on a multiplayer world, can other people also use that name? Let me know in the comments. All right, let's have a look at the size here. You can see that there are uh, three letters, X, Y, and Z. The X is red. Now, in maths, if you've learned about the Cartesian plane, the X is along the bottom. So you can see there's a very thin red line. The Y is green. And you'll notice that green, if I rotate the model, green refers to height. So my area that I'm copying is 28 blocks wide, 15 blocks high, and the blue letter Z is about depth, how deep something is. So we can see that's the blue line here at the front. So when you rotate your model around, you'll see those three colors and that'll help you remember, X is how wide, Y is how high, and Z is how deep, or how many blocks the area is. Now have a look at the offset. The offset is about moving the selected area backwards, forwards, or you know, from side to side. Once you place the block down, you can move the area to copy by using this offset value. So for example, I haven't changed the X axis offset, but I did change the Y. So I, instead of copying something at this height, I've dropped it down one so that I can copy the grass and the dirt as well. Let's have a look. You can see uh, on the screen, there is the structure block, but the selected area actually goes one level deeper than the structure block. And that's because the offset, I've dropped it down by one. The Z minus 14 um, is, let's have a look, that's blue. So instead of the structure block normally being on the corner of the selected area, I've moved the selected area right in the middle. 
So how do you know these numbers? How do you work them out? Trial and error. I want to encourage you to practice this a lot. Change the numbers, change them by one, change them by two, and have a look at the result. Trial and error is going to give you really good control over the area that you are copying. All right, so in this preview window, I can see now I have got my entire fountain and I left click and uh, move it around to make sure I did capture everything. When I'm ready to capture, uh, then I just simply hit the save button, done. My structure is now saved and it's called pond. That's important for me because I now, when I paste it, I'm gonna use a structure block and I'm gonna use the word pond. Let's press escape. Alrighty, let's go to an area that is a bit clear and I'm gonna place a structure block on the ground just once. Now, when I step back, you'll notice that it has created a really small area. Um, and then when I right click on that little, that structure block, uh, it tells me it's by default, put the size five wide, five high and five deep. Now I'm actually gonna change the mode. I'm gonna change it to load because now I'm pasting, remember? So I'm gonna change it to load and I wanna load the structure that I call pond. When I've typed in the name of the structure, I just click out of it. And then um, Minecraft adds this my structure piece to it itself, it does that. Now I want you to notice the first thing that it does, and that is it shows me the size and it shows me where it's gonna get pasted. So in this preview window, um, it shows me the size of how big it's gonna be. And it shows me where in my world it's gonna get pasted. And in this case, I can see it's actually gonna cut off an existing structure. So I need to move it around a bit, okay? And we can see this heading here offset. Well, that is the same as what we saw earlier in that is this is my chance to move it across on the X axis, move it backwards and forwards uh, on the Z axis. So let's try that. I wanna move it across sideways. So that's the X axis. Let's start by putting the number 10. I'm just guessing, right? To start off with, I'm gonna give it a go, put in a number and have a look at the effect. So 10 blocks, uh, click out of that. No, wrong direction. Now there's more of the other build. What about if I do minus 10? That'll shift it the other direction. So instead of shifting it left, it'll shift it right. So let's go um, uh, minus one to see what the difference is. Oh, look at that. It's moved over a bit. So let's do minus two. Can you now see what's happening with the offset? Minus three, let's go minus five. Mm, let's do minus 10. I wanna find a completely blank space to paste down my build. Looks like I just need to do two more. Make it minus 12. Perfect, now the area that it's getting pasted in is not blocked by anything else. So I've got those correct. You can leave include entities. So if there was mobs or villages, they would be included. Remove blocks, no, that doesn't make sense. I wanna keep the blocks there. Integrity, 100. Well, I haven't yet found a reason why I would change this, but if you do, in fact, I'll leave it up to you. You try changing the integrity number and see what happens. It could be kind of funny. All right, scroll down, rotation. I could rotate the build. So of course you can think about uh, rotating something 90 degrees, rotating it 180 degrees to flip it around completely. You can do that there. Um, or you can mirror the object. These settings could be interesting. Why don't you give them a go and tell me what happens in the comments below this. All right. Well, I'm gonna leave everything the way it is um, and hit the load button 
and abracadabra, there it is. My fountain has been pasted. Oh, hang on. I probably should have done something because now I've got the fountain pasted one block too high. I should have made the offset on the Y axis, the height. I should have dropped it down by one block. These are the kinds of things that you are going to discover as you practice copying and pasting using the X, Y, and Z values with the structure block. Practice really does make perfect. Copying and pasting is gonna save you a lot of time and it's gonna make your multiplayer worlds a lot more interesting.